Hey viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Free Space 2 Blue, I guess is the proper title for this re-release here, by the same wonderful people that did Age of Aquarius and War in Heaven, which we are going to get to, promise. But for now, we've just slain Ravana, even though we didn't get any credit for it, because that's how this goes, so let's go ahead and have a look and see what they've got for us next. I assume it will be exciting and dangerous and life-threatening and a terrible idea. Lieutenant Commander Cordova here. Welcome to the 242nd Suicide Kings, pilot. I've heard from unofficial channels that the rebels have launched a surprise attack in the Epsilon Pegasi system. Details at this point are sketchy below five level clearance, and command is in no hurry to fill us in. Petrarch says he'll brief the Aquitaine when we reach Capella. Suicide Kings. Wonder how your turnover is. The GTA formed the Suicide Kings in the Great War, when the old Valkyrie fighter went into service after the Shivan attack on Ross 128. The 242nd was stationed on the Galatea back then, and our first mission was the capture of Lieutenant Alexander McCarthy. We all studied the McCarthy trials in school, pilot. We are part of history here, though the Galatea is long gone, and the Valkyrie has since been retired. Uh, I think, uh... I think I know what I'm doing next. It's all coming back to me. Yep. The Perseus is the next generation interceptor, the fastest fighter in the GTVA. Our primary combat role is charging bombers and chasing down warheads. We're also assigned to surgical strikes against bigger warships. We're not called the Suicide Kings for nothing, pilot. We earn that name on every mission. For that reason, I suggest you review the Perseus training modules as soon as possible. There you'll learn how to target bombs and turrets, and everything else you need to serve in an intercept squadron. Well, if you're not going to give me my wings, then no, I'm not doing your stupid module. You are now authorized to use the GTM 43A Stiletto II missile, designed to incapacitate subsystems. The 43A improves on the original Stiletto design, by modifying its guidance systems and disruptor charge. The Stiletto also boasts a more powerful propulsion system, increasing its speed and effective range. It is also a shoe. Ah, uh, no. Welcome to Training Simulator yes. Module TSM. All that loading just to skip that. Yay. Yeah, I know people love the Perseus. I'm not a fan. 36 hours ago. The NTF launched a full-scale offensive in Epsilon Pegasi, taking the GTVA 6th Fleet by surprise. Command against forces from the NTD Repulse, Rear Admiral Koth leads the Rebel advance. With 75% of our forces in this system decimated, the regional death toll since the incursion now exceeds 80,000. Unless we act quickly, decisive rebel victory is imminent okay but decimation i believe is only to reduce by 10 percent so if you take 75 percent of our forces and you take 10 percent of that we're actually not doing that badly you lost like what less than seven percent of our team forces that's not bad we're doing okay i don't know why i'm even here the gtd aquitaine will lead the allied counter strike against koth and his warships we will resupply in Capella before shipping out to the front. We have also learned our campaign in Sirius has failed. Two-pronged offensive launched from Alpha Centauri and Deneb encountered fierce resistance. Unless we can devise a military solution for dealing with the rebels, GTVA will be forced to recognize the NTF's authority in Sirius, Regulus, and Polaris. Man, if only we had some sort of giant super ship. Uh, some kind of Colossus of a vessel, if you will. Allied engineers, in the meantime, are developing and adapting technologies that will enable us to fight more effectively in the nebula. Dr. Hargrove and her research team continue to study the subspace portal. Their findings have been classified level phi. Until the situation in Epsilon Pegasi has been normalized, the GTVA will suspend its operations in the nebula. Yeah, we took out the Ravana, though. I mean, it's not like the Shivan worm machine is some sort of an unstoppable juggernaut. 
That's enough anvil dropping for one briefing, I think. This is Lieutenant Commander Cordova, leader of the 242nd Suicide Kings. Welcome to Epsilon Pegasi, pilots. NF Station, the Alliance's base of operations in this system, is now under attack. Though we have destroyed the NTC outrage, the Cato continues to bombard the installation with heavy beam fire. That's an awesome name for a ship, the Outrage. Evacuation of civilian personnel on board NF Station is now in progress. As you know, civilians are protected under the Beta Aquilae Convention, but the NTF has rejected that treaty and its provisions. Fortunately, most of the civilian convoy has jumped safely to the Capella Jump Node. Your mission is to defend NF Station. As leader of Alpha Wing, you will command your squad mates to destroy the fighters and warships besieging our installation. If the rebels sortie their Zeus bombers, intercept the warheads before they impact the base. Oh, that's probably the best time to do it. Allied forces are engaging the rebels throughout the system. As resources become available, they will be deployed to assist you. Until we get these reinforcements, however, holding down the fort is all up to you. This sortie will be the first combat field test of the Perseus Intercept Fighter. So let's put on a good show. Protect NF Station, protect transports. Oh, three whole wings. Wow, they're being generous. I will take my harpoons, thank you. Is that a... Prometheus. Yeah, no... Let's give you guys some actually useful stuff. There you go. Does that match everything here? No, oh, I want... Hmm. Wanted that. There we go. That matches everyone's... Okay, you all have those for some reason. Fine. Let me do all this work. There's got to be a faster way to do this. Nice. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's rock. NTF fighters, you are firing upon a civilian vessel. Break off your attack. Alpha, we need some fighter cover on the Calypso. Hold back the rebels so the civilians can escape. Roger that. Let's take care of that beam cannon, shall we? Cell problems. Okay, you're already being targeted. You're being super targeted. Oh. Come on. Where are you? Oh. Well, you were there. Anyhow. You, you. Alright, let's put a little power to engines here. Wow, yeah. They can... She can move! Have one of those. Have two of those, maybe. That worked. I'm actually supposed to drop that bomb. Yeah, headbutt. I'll, yeah, I'll continue to headbutt you if you tell you die. This is the GTFR Calypso. We have cleared NF yeah, yeah, just give me a lock on. Subspace drive. Well done. The NTC Cato has been destroyed. All right. That's a problem. That's a big problem. 
This is the Mannheim. We have set course for the Capella Jump Node. Activating jump drive now. Oh, right. Forgot about those. All civilian transports have departed safely. Okay. Honestly, you're the worst. Okay, let's... All fighters... Please ignore my target. Yes, sir. Roger that. I think I'll just get them killed. Get him? I think I got them all. Okay, isn't there an anti-beam turret somewhere that's just ruining my day? A new wing of bombers has jumped in. Request immediate Okay. Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Someone was in front of the wrong bomb, or wrong beam, rather, weren't they? Come on, give me that sweet, sweet lock on, please. Oh boy. Nah. Okay. So, so you guys are jerks. Someone into uh, Bandit oh boy. Incoming. I don't think, but I think NF Station is gonna make it this rate. Oh, you guys are actually fighters. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Oh, that wasn't correct if I ever seen one. I'm reading an incoming jump signature. Configuration unknown. Sweet. That is a fine looking ship. Whoa. Half <laughs> station's ten percent. This is friendly. Meet the Colossus. The largest spacefaring warship ever constructed. This is the GTVA Colossus. Fighters stand clear of hostile warships. All batteries, fire at will. <laughs> this is NF Station. All systems going critical. We have defeated the Hawkwood. Yay, now let's see if anything crashes into NF Station and takes it Return out. Return to base pilots. Mission accomplished. Maintain your current position. You will defend NF Station until relieved. That is a big ship. But I gotta say, for being at 5%, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know that ominous crackling electricity, and there's not a whole lot of fires on it. That's its job well done. In your courageous defense of NF Station, you are eyewitness to an historic moment. The first combat deployment of the GTVA Colossus. You and your wing also showed us what the Perseus Intercept Fighter can do. Against overwhelming odds, you repelled an attack against a facility of the utmost strategic importance for the Alliance. The commander of NF Station personally extends his gratitude, pilot. I can see you'll make a fine addition to the Suicide Kings. Did okay. The Alliance has won battle after battle throughout the system. 
crushing the NTC Rapier, the NTC Explorer, and the NTD Normandy. These victories have stalled the Rebel advance, and now with the help of the Colossus, we will push them back into the Polaris system, securing Epsilon Pegasi once and for all. For demonstrating exceptional skill in combat, you are hereby awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. Hey, that's fantastic. Never gonna get those wings, am I? Oh well, you'll take what I can get. Well, viewers, thank you for watching, and when we come back, more Free Space Blue. See you then!